DHB for Armor Recognition Editorial Team at Defense and Security Thailand 2017. Today we will focus to the international presence at the show. There is 25 international pavilions, including Germany, France, United Kingdom and United States and more. The most international pavilion is Turkey, with 18 companies from all the defense sectors showcasing latest equipment, including rockets, armored combat vehicles, individual weapons and more. Now we are participating, as like previous years, normally integrating defense industry of, of Serbia completely, uh, actually offer of our defense industry. And during the, the recent few years, uh, this offer has been reached with uh, our, actually enriched with uh, our new complex weapon systems, which we are developing and producing in Yugo import. Uh, today you, have, you will see two uh, premieres for such kind of shows. Uh, those are our Shumadia rocket launcher with range of 285 kilometers, belonging of course to the uh, conversional range of such kind of, of guided, rocket, ro guided rocket systems, which is using eight correctable rockets range of 200, 285 kilometers with a CEP according to 50 meters, something like that. It is one of the hours, uh, the most uh, advanced systems which we are promoting now, it, those systems is development stage now still. Also, we are promoting again the, uh, the prototype of our unmanned helicopter. As you can see at uh, this uh, model, it is slightly different from uh, the shape and concept uh, ten, from the model which has been first time promoted in Abu Dhabi this, uh, this, this year, 2017 in February. And uh, this helicopter is uh, very prospective, picking about helicopter which has multi-role abilities for long-range observation and high endurance with ability for observing of battlefield and uh, for using from naval applications, for example, for light vessels as like uh, fast attack craft, uh, corvette and other small vessels. Now I'd like uh, to introduce uh, uh, BJR-4 uh, armored person carrier which was uh, designed and manufactured in Ukraine. Uh, now this vehicle is in the service of Ukrainian army. Combat weight is 22 tons and with additional armor protection up to 24 tons. APC is equipped with a diesel engine, 450 horsepower and automatic transmission. APC armed with overhead weapon station which remote controlled. Uh, the main gun is an uh, uh, automatic 30mm uh, gun and a um, grenade launcher 30mm uh, and 7.62mm uh, coaxial machine gun. The turret is equipped with uh, anti tank guided missiles, uh, which uh, has an uh, uh, effective range up to 5 km against heavy armored vehicle. Uh, uh, the main features uh, for this region uh, of this uh, armored vehicle is a uh, flotation possibility. Uh, um, this, this vehicle uh, can uh, go uh, through the water obstacle with a speed up to 10 km per hour. Rosa Baron X Punk Company is uh, the sole 
uh, Russian uh, government uh, agency. Uh, we participate uh, in uh, exhibition uh, for the fifth time. That's uh, we uh, try to uh, divide our relations uh, with uh, Thailand and do our best uh, to uh, deliver Russian military equipment to that country. Ross Abaron Export is uh, one of the widest uh, uh, arms and uh, arms exporter all over the world. And after the United States, uh, we are the second exporter of military equipment all over the world. We uh, exported uh, this uh, T-90 uh, to some Asia uh, country. Maybe you know that uh, uh, India uh, produces a T-90 under license of uh, uh, Russia. We are ready to uh, offer T-90 to uh, Thailand, but uh, we uh, know that Thailand bought uh, some tanks from China, uh, some tanks uh, from Ukraine, but in, a, in any case we hope that uh, we will manage in future uh, to deliver T-80 to Thailand. Why not? At Defense and Security Thailand 2017, the Belgium company FNSTAL presents a wide range of weapon stations, including remotely operated weapon station Defender Medium, which can be armed with a 12.7mm EV machine gun. There is also a pintle mounted weapon station for helicopter and pods. FNSTAL presents also a new generation of airborne weapon system, which can be armed with a 12.7mm EV machine gun and also guided and unguided rockets. Hello Army Recognition, welcome to the FNSS stand at Defense and Security Exhibition in Thailand, Bangkok. So we are here to uh, showcase our products with FNSS stand. Uh, which uh, some of them had been uh, in service uh, within the region and some of them we are currently showcasing for the recent requirements around the region. So uh, here we have the AACE, which is the uh, amphibious assault dozer uh, and earth mover uh, for combat engineering missions. So this uh, vehicle is uh, an armored vehicle, it's fully amphibious, yeah, it has a crew of two. So the driver sits on the front and the co-driver sits on the rear. And um, uh, it has also a ballistic mine and IED protection. It is uh, actually in service with the Turkish army. Here we have our uh, famous PARS vehicle, which is the uh, PARS 8x8 configuration. We also have the 6x6 version of this vehicle. So this uh, vehicle is in service in a couple of com countries at the moment. And um, it's quite straightforward like uh, commander and driver sits there uh, we have the power pack right over there we can install a variety of weapon systems which could be from a, a 7.6 to limit controlled um, weapon station to 30 to 40 millimeter weapon systems which are automatic cannons remote or manned turrets so here we have the area for the dismounts. It's uh, capable of sitting eight dismounts on the rear. And uh, it's completely protected vehicle from kinetic, through kinetic energy threats to mines and AEDs. Uh, there we have um, vehicles which is amphibious, also non-amphibious. It depends on the requirements from the customer uh, based on protection levels. So here uh, we actually here to showcase our capabilities on upgrading aged m 11 trees which is uh, considerably available in many countries worldwide and um, we are currently upgrading these vehicles for some countries and it is upgraded to a modern vehicle standard in terms of mobility protection and firepower we are showcasing the m 113 a4 configuration which has a tremendous amount of 
ballistic protection and mine protection as compared with the earlier versions of the M113s. And uh, it is uh, named as A4 because it, is, uh, it has a higher standard than the um, A3 configuration uh, in terms of mobility and uh, protection levels. So thank you Army Recognition for uh, stopping by in FNSS stand and I hope to see you in the next show. MTAN is an Israeli company, manufacturer of small arms, mainly the MZ4 family of rifles, and we are selling worldwide. The uh, company is based in uh, Israel and uh, manufacture over 4,000 rifles per month. The Asian market and Thailand and the area is very, very important for us. We have a long and good relationship with many countries around. We already supply the military forces and the other forces uh, in this region. And uh, we decided to launch our three new rifles here because this is one of our target markets and it's an important exhibition. MTAN's uh, main product is a military standard, military specification rifle, like the MZ4. Okay, this rifle, okay, is built for military specification, and this is the main product that we sell worldwide. The first product that I will introduce to you is what we call the piston operation system. Okay, again based on the MZ4, but the operation system is using a piston instead of direct impingement gas system. That allows the gas from the rifle to come out in the front of the rifle, eliminating a lot of uh, dirt and uh, gas coming out of the back of the rifle, keeping this area clean and less uh, hot. In uh, uh, Defense and Security Thailand, uh, MTAN introduced the MZ-47, platform uh, utilizing M4 type rifle with magazine and ammunition from the AK-47. So armies around the world that are using AK-47 and they want to upgrade to a modern M4 platform can use the same magazine and same ammunition that they have but with a new modern platform. The third uh, weapon MTAN launches in Defense and Security Thailand is the MZ-300. Utilizing the same mechanism as the MZ-4556 but with a barrel for 762 or 300 blackout as it knows in the market. The idea is that uh, the special forces that would like to have a more stopping power or more uh, uh, larger bullet can use the same mechanism as their M4 or MZ-4 rifles with an advanced uh, 300 blackout ammunition. This also allows also allow them to fire automatically uh, with uh, suppressors on the rifle.